Good morning. Good morning. Has it been a year already? Yes. It's insane how fast time flies. It feels like yes, it was here like a, year. a few months ago. They keep reminding me that I didn't do this. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got a Febco model 850. This is a one inch double check valve. Here's our water meter. Here's our incoming service. We got three quarter inch coming in, five eighths meter. And then they reducing male adapter. Uh, so this is a three quarter by one inch copper by male adapter. And we have the same thing on the outlet side, three quarter copper by one inch female adapter. That's technically how you would order it if you needed to uh, order at, at a supply house. This is shutoff valve number one, shutoff valve number two, test ports one, two, three, and four. We're gonna make note of our meter reading and the serial number of the meter and the serial number of the unit itself. Let's test. And also I'm noticing we have a, uh, a domestic thermal expansion tank right there um, in the unpreferred orientation of installation, horizontally. Preferred is vertically in a downward position. All right, so let's get testing. One of the first things we're gonna need to determine is direction of flow. Quite simple, there's our water main coming in from the city supply across, so our direction of flow is from left to the right or from the bottom through the top, and that's also indicated with the arrow that's located on the body of the cross-connection control device. Okay, uh, so that's number one, determine direction of flow. Number two, we're going to close shutoff valve number two to stop flow demand on the downward stream. Remember, shutoff valve number one, shutoff valve number two. Test ports one, two, three, and four. Regardless of the brand double check valve you're working with or if it's a reduced pressure zone or not, uh, you're still going to have similar valves. One and two, one, two, three, and four. Number three, we're going to blow off test cocks two, three, and four. We're going to make sure there's no debris in there, so we're going to slowly open those up to blow off any debris that's right there. All right, let's begin to test. We're going to connect a, an adapter to test port number three. And we're gonna tighten it up just a little bit. We're gonna take our high pressure hose, which is the yellow hose, and connect that to test port number three. All right, so our high pressure hose is connected to test port number three. We're gonna bleed the air through A and B. I'm going to have the end of my hose going into a towel to catch any water. We're going to close B, okay? You're going to notice that the needle is staying pegged on the high side of our PSID gauge. If it drops, then if we close shutoff valve number one, sorry, if it drops at this point, shutoff valve number two is faulty. The device fails. You need to uh, make repairs and then retest. All right, now... You notice, pegged on high side. Let's open up B, and we're gonna wait until that needle drops at two PSID. Let's open up B slowly, 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 and stop, perfect. So she's staying at two PSID. We're gonna take that screwdriver, and we're gonna open up test port number two. And when I open that up, that should not drop below one PSID. Here we go. It dropped right to one, so it just barely passed. Check valve number one has passed. Now let's close test port number two and number three. We're gonna remove our high pressure hose from test port number three. Connect high pressure hose to number four. Let's open up our shutoff valve number one. Okay, let's open sir, test port number four, and let's bleed air through A and B. 
I gotta go into that towel. Good. Needles pegged on the high side. Let's close shot out valve number one. So far, so good. Drop the two PSID. Right there, perfect. Now, we're gonna open up test port number three. And when we open that up, that shouldn't drop below one PSID. We opened it up and we dropped just a little bit. So shut off valve, sorry. Check valve number two has also passed. So the device has passed testing the annual requirement in New York State. Open up, shut off valve number one, shut off valve number two, and now we've restored water service to the building.